junk free June, it's raising money for cancer, it opens out a wider issue of whether we are in fact uh, eating far too much uh, junk, so we're going to be talking about that tonight. But first, I went to the street, Cuba Street this afternoon, and I asked this question. Do you reckon you could give up junk food for the entire month? Realistically, no. Yeah, I don't really eat junk food anyway. Yeah, I probably could. And we don't eat junk food, we make our own uh, Indian style curry. Yeah, yeah, I think I could. You know, big fast food chains, McDonald's, you know, BK, all that shit. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Be easy, I think. Mm, yeah. yeah. Possibly. Possibly? Yeah, I reckon I could do it. It's just like, it's almost unconsumable, you know? No. <laughs> Yeah, me neither. Just holding noodles. Uh, it would be hard, but yeah, I think. Yeah, maybe. Do you smoke cigarettes? Yeah, I smoke cigarettes. What's your, what's your guilty pleasure when it does come to junk food? What is it? Oh, chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate, yeah, chocolate. Coke. <laughs> probably, probably just fizzy drinks. Probably just chocolate, if anything. There is one guilty pleasure. What, what might it be? Beer. Definitely. That's probably the only fizzy drink I'll, I'll, I'll consume. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, guys. Good night. What about you, James Shaw? What's your guilty pleasure? Uh, Whitaker's chocolate bars. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Palmjeet? <laughs> you own a lolly factory. <laughs> <laughs> yes, What's... I make people sweet. <laughs> Very good. Hey, we'll go come to you guys soon. Uh, but uh, Damien Christie. Yeah, I'm with Barney Hodges. Now, Barney's here from A Junk Free June. Hello. Damien, it's uh, great to be here. Cheers, bro. It's great to have you here. Um, you've actually been doing Junk Free June since May. Yes, yeah, started in May. I thought I'd uh, get a wee head start on it, and um, it's been a great start. The campaign started the first of this month, and uh, we're off to a cracker. I tell we, you. we were just talking before the show, and some chips turned up, and you just basically just kind of—it's it's real tough for you right now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay, cool. Now you can't talk for about five minutes. That's ruined that interview. Um, but look, seriously, you look at these. I mean, these aren't. This isn't junk. This is a plate of agria, New Zealand agria potatoes. You know, just cooked in a, a dash of, you know, pure vegetable oil, um, you know, briefly with a little mayonnaise there? Well, I'll tell you what, first of all, uh, shout-outs to the backbencher for the lovely uh, uh, potato chips we have here. I'll tell you what, the temptation is real. So don't get me wrong, like, I'm a normal person, I would absolutely nail that bowl of chips. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, you've actually lost 7 kgs, you were saying, by, by you know... But this isn't a weight loss thing, is it? This, is, this, this isn't about... No, purely not a weight loss. It's just uh, about raising social awareness and just get getting people um, on board with the campaign. And yeah, I have lost seven kilos this month. I'm wearing black just to slim it down even more, <laughs> thank you. But <laughs> apart from that, um, yeah, it's just about um, being part of it and just, just helping out where I can. So. Cool, very good. Now, um, I've seen some a bit of discussion going on on the Twitter and stuff like that, being people saying, you can't do this, you can't do this, you can't do that. I went to the website, and the rules of Junk Free June are basically just, just don't do whatever you don't want to do. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. It's basically up to the um, individual's discretion. You know, if you're a sucker, if you're a sweet tooth for chocolate, um, no offence, if you're a sweet food <laughs> for chocolate, um, you just you just don't, you just eliminate chocolate for that next month. But, I mean, for myself, I mean, as I say, takeaways are on the, on the regular for me. And it's just, um, I'm not having it for the month. I've just basically turned the tables and gone, gone clean on the whole thing. All the information at junkfreejune.co.nz, is that right? And the, um, the, the money raised goes to the Cancer Society? That's correct. Um, I've set a bar of $2,000 to raise by the end of this month. Um, so far, I've hit about $650. So feel free to donate. Uh, every dollar counts. Much appreciated. Thanks for coming along, Barney. Oh, round of applause for Barney. That's fantastic. And and of course, that bigger issue, isn't it, uh, James Shaw, about the fact that one third of children are overweight or obese now in Aotearoa. This is this is a big uh, this is a big statistic. So I'm going to ask you, what is the role of the government in ensuring that people stay healthy? Well, so here's the problem. This is actually a massive economic problem for us because the cost to the health system of this level of obesity runs to the millions, if not the billions, of dollars. And so we've got to find a way of both paying for the costs of that and also to disincentivize uh, that kind of thing. So I think that there is a role for some kind of price uh, signal on, on, you know, bad food. Well, here's an idea. Just in Hamilton Rose Street School, they found $100 worth of sugar in two classrooms. And they asked the dairies around them to actually stop selling kids the sweet stuff. They did. All that declined. What about capping dairies and what they can sell? Is that an answer? I mean, that's, that's about making sure kids have access to decent, healthy food. I don't think, though, as a nation, it's about our addiction to junk food. I think it's our addiction, why, why, why I think it's our addiction to affordable food. Junk food and cheap food um, and poor choices are cheaper in New Zealand. It is expensive to be healthy, and that's wrong. 
It is wrong. It okay, you respond. You respond to this just in Pamjit. So for me, it's about education and awareness because people should have choice. And we have 40 million we've committed. Had we've had we, choice. We, it doesn't work. Yeah, we have 40 million committed uh, for um, healthy families, and uh, that is to set up 10 communities. And one one is already set up in Does East Cape. That is to uh, campaign against obesity and also underlying causes we've of tried, poor health. We've tried choice. Choice is making us fat. Yeah. You love freedom, you love choice. What's your solution? Why don't you actually do what the, uh, the Auckland Regional Public Health Service are saying? And so they're asking, they're asking us to actually cap what dairies can sell because this is a problem that's going out of control, David. Mm. Well, I just give a shout out, first of all, to the Cancer Society, a great charity uh, yes, that is doing this, and all the people that this. are doing this voluntarily. Uh, and I'd give a shout out, for instance, to Garden to Table, people that volunteer to go into schools, uh, help so the kids are you, are grow you gonna, vegetables, are you prepare it? them. Are you going to do the junk free June? I'm going to do junk free June. I do it every month. Karen <laughs> Wallace. Do you? What does that mean? Uh, <laughs> can you not tell? I don't need, no, I don't his need. body is a temple. <laughs> his body is Wallace, a temple. Wallace, given he's the big free market guy, how yeah. does he feel yeah, about uh, the duopoly that yeah. is our supermarkets in New Zealand? I'd be really yeah. interested in that because surely yeah. the retailers oh, look, have got to be part of the this show, conversation. But, um, back to me. Yes, so that's why right. Health Star okay, Rating. Palm G. That's why we have adopted Health Star Rating last year, and you will see a lot of food in supermarket shelves rated um, according to this uh, new system. And uh, this is um, this will actually meet expectations of parents because they want to buy healthy and quality mm. food for their kids. The thing is, that regulation is what's needed, and that's what yeah. the Auckland Regional Health Board are saying. That's what they're saying. A third of children are overweight or obese. It's so, true, yeah. do we do we need stronger controls and not mm. just choice? Well, I, I mean, like, like I said, I think that if you put a price signal on things, which helps to address this imbalance between, you know, cheap food being junk food and you know more expensive food being healthy food, mm. if you start to address that balance, then you level the playing field, and you can help to cover the cost consequences, and you're sending a price signal so that people will actually make that choice, but that it's a choice decided by the wallet. Oh. Thank you.